Ah, uh, you know, things are really not going well for Joe Biden when you get 50 Cent the rapper out there Instagramming about what the heck is the president doing? That's what happened over the weekend. And by the way, he just doubled down. I'm going to show you what he, he just put out. Actually, no, we'll start with the first one. Let's start with the first one here. So 50 Cent, very well-known rapper, was kind of perturbed that, you know, there's a whole lot of stuff going on and the you know potential, I don't know, for World War III. And yet the president is on the beach. Well, technically he's not on the beach. Technically this is an old beach photo. So he did get in some technical trouble about this one, but take a look. 50 Cent writes, Biden hits the beach with Middle East Congress in chaos. And he's sending this article up and he said, hey Joe, get the F up. We're in trouble, man. <laughs> so it was like a huge sensation. Everybody loved it. You have everybody, you know, 205,000 likes at last check. And, uh, well, it got, quote, missing context. Independent fact checkers say information in this post could mislead people, being that he's not technically at the beach this weekend. <laughs> I know he was during Maui, but he, he's not there right now. So 50 cents, okay, fine, fine. But, you know, like I have a few more things to say on this. So he came out with yet another post. And this one was also on Instagram. Take a peek. This is an article about him doing this thing. 50 cent flames Biden for vacation with world on the brink. This is from Outkick. So he, he, he shared this article quite proudly and, and wrote, quote, we got some real... <clears throat> going on here, Joe. What's the plan to get a tan and chill? Come on now. <laughs> so, yeah, no, not looking good for Joe. Not looking good for Joe at all. I mean, when when you got 50 Cent calling you out, it, it means it's caught up with the rest of the world, right? It, it means that America has noticed, and that can't be good. Not for Joe considering his polling numbers, but I, I don't know how he's going to run again, guys. Like, do you really think he's going to run? I'm curious, tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd like to know, is Joe Biden going to run for president? Because every day you turn around, Donald Trump climbed higher and higher and higher in the polls. And people are like, well, wait a second. I, I, I could deal with a few mean tweets right now so long as we had stability in the world, so long as the economy was okay, and so long as people weren't getting blown up overseas. I mean, I'm sorry to be so crass about it. But Donald Trump would tell you, there's a reason, there's a reason why we're facing this chaos. In fact, he just did. What? I choked off the money to corrupt Palestinian organizations and stood with Israel like no president in history, recognizing the eternal capital opening up the American embassy in Jerusalem. <laughs> And recognizing Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights, that was a big deal. And with the historic Abraham Accords, we had peace in the Middle East. Can you believe that? We had peace until this character came along. He doesn't know what he was doing. His name was Crooked Joe Biden. And under Biden, it's danger, death, and destruction all over the world. That's what it's been. It's been a disaster. Whether it's the borders, whether it's uh, the Middle East, whether it's Ukraine, whether it, everything is, everything is broken. The whole world is broken. A great gentleman. He's got a point. Things are kind of broken. I mean, they're so broken that even 50 Cent is now. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit a like. Don't forget to hit the bell. And I'll see you back here for more.